more you know, the better you are. And few things can be more frustrating than watching your child struggle to make friends or have a difficult time fitting into certain social settings. As children often have difficulty sharing, empathizing, collaborating, and cooperating, helping to introduce social skills to your little one can be one of the most rewarding aspects of raising a child. But teaching your little one social skills can be complex, confusing, and time consuming. And so with the end of school upon us, a school counselor is helping children to learn social skills in a heartfelt and meaningful way, which can help help parents to strengthen and confide uh, in their social and emotional learnings of their little ones. Joining us today to share how you can help to cultivate your child and nurture their social skills and to promote the release of his new children's book series, The Adventures of Harold from the Hood, is school counselor and children's author Jim Price. Thank you so much for joining us, Jim. Thank you, Eliana. It's a pleasure and a blessing to be here today. Of course. We're excited to have you on. I have the books here in front of me, but I want to know what are social skills and why are they so important for children, especially at this time? Yes. So when we talk about the dynamics of social skills, I mean, that's the point of um, interaction where we have kids who are interacting with each other through actions and words verbally. So a lot of times um, when we talk about social skills, those are the components that um, are need to be nurtured with kids in order for them to have appropriate interactions with other kids, you know, and um, yeah. No, it's interesting because I think a lot of people think, oh, like it's social skills just come naturally, but a lot of the times they do have to be taught, right? Kids are taught by example, so they see things. And so how can you tell if your child is struggling with social skills? How can parents kind of keep an eye out for that? So a lot of times we'll see those um, parts of the social interaction, kid, interactions with kids be um, kind of where maybe they're doing things. Maybe they have a bad temper and they're just like lashing out and things of that nature. Or, or maybe they're more um, seclusive and things like that and don't really like to talk about their feelings and emotions that are coming out or, you know, that they're dealing with and things of that nature. So, I mean, it's just, you know, being able to monitor and see a lot of the things that are happening in terms of your child. Every child is different. Every child has a different personality. So um, it's good to just look into how your child's interacting with other children and um, try to monitor that and then, you know, model some things too. So what steps can be taken to improve a little one's um, social skills? I mean, one of the major parts is just having those honest conversations with your child having honest conversations around, um, you know, how they how their actions and words can impact others and how their actions and words impact others' feelings as well. So having those honest conversations about, um, around, you know, what it means in terms of social connection with others and treating other people appropriately and having appropriate conversation and dialogue with others is so important. Yeah, and one of the ways you're helping children learn about, uh, learn about and develop their social skills is through your children's books. So talk to us a little bit about the Adventures of Harold from the Hood series. These are great books. Thank you, Ileana. I appreciate that. Um, so both, they're both um, based on diversity and inclusion. And like the first book, The Adventures of Harold from Hood, A Trip to the Park, is based on um, accepting others' differences and things like that. You know, um, just being able to connect with others and, and unify and things of that nature. And um, the other book, The Adventures of Harold from the Hood, Friends Like Different Things, is uh, more associated with interacting with each other socially, but also trying different things. Like a lot of our kids are so connected to technology that a lot of the social components have kind of been um, stagnated in a lot of sense, you know, when you talk about social um, interaction. So you know, getting them to see that there's other things they can do besides being on the cell phone or tablet or laptop and things of that nature are explored in that second book. Right. So what do you hope children, parents, families, and educators take away after reading a trip to the park and friends like different things? Well, the most important part I want them to really families and educators to understand and, and kids too, that um, it's okay. Accepting others' differences is, is a positive thing and um, being able to nurture um, different um, aspects of um, other people's and their differences can also, um, you know, generate an area where you're able to connect with others and maybe find out if those differences that you have with someone else might lead to um, having similar likes and then being able to make connections in that way too. A lot of things that can be taken from, you know, teaching our children to also teaching adults, things that we just all need to be aware <laughs> of and apply to our life. Where can people reach out to you if they want to get a little bit more information? So um, either you can, you know, my website is up, it's, um, that's Jim Price, J-I-M-P-R-I-C-E, books dot education, where all my books, I also have coloring books and um, other material on there too. Um, on my website that is available for them to look at and also information about me or you can reach me at um, 
I see at yahoo.com. That's my direct email address. Perfect, Jim. Thank you so much for coming on today. We really do appreciate it.